Arsenal Fan TV. We're down here in Sydney and uh, we've got Arsenal Sydney with Ellie. Um, Ellie, listen, first of all, it's a great party you have in here before the game. And uh, tell us about your group. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much, Robbie. Look, uh, Arsenal Sydney, we're all about a not-for-profit organisation. Um, and what it was is the Arsenal fans in Sydney said, you know what, we want, a, we want a club, we want a committee and we want a community and we want that owned in Sydney and this is what we do, we put events on for our members, um, you know, as I said, we're not for profit, we do a lot of charity raising. Tonight, for example, we're raising funds for Beyond Blue, it's an Australian charity and it's all about mental health, uh, mm. mental depression, which, you know, we feel strongly for, especially in football. Call it Beyond Red next time. No, I don't know. <laughs> Beyond Blue, that sounds a bit too much like Chelsea. Beyond Blue is red, so that's us. <laughs> no, 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 it's all good. That's brilliant. And I've seen, I've seen like some things before, um, some footage of you guys watching games over here, and there's like there's hundreds of you guys. I mean, you've got a really big organisation here. Yeah, absolutely. For example, today's game and the game on Thursday. Um, as a committee, we organised a sale of 1,000 tickets in the Arsenal Active Bay. So mm -hmm. you know, the hardcore, the crazy Australian fans. Um, they're absolutely here today and they're part of Arsenal Sydney and that's what they love. Mm. I was chatting to some of the Arsenal officials today and they said to me, listen, we're going to have to come back here. I mean, the response that they've had over here in Australia has been brilliant. Um, I mean, what, what have you guys made of it all? Look, for me, it's a little bit more beyond that. Uh, to me, the fact that Arsenal have now started touring, so, you know, we, we go back to Vietnam, we go back to Singapore, New York, and now Australia, they're starting to act like a big club. Mm. They're recognising that in order to be a big club, there's corporate dollars involved and there's corporate responsibility involved. And that means coming to Australia. It's great for us as fans to see it because what I expect now, not only because they've come here, yes, they put on a show, but they've also collected a lot of revenue to reinvest that back in the club. So that's what mm. I'm happy about. I'm so happy to see Arsenal Sydney mm. and Arsenal in Sydney. That's fantastic. But what's really important? I want to see Arsenal reinvest this back into the club. Okay. That's really why we're happy. Good, you can set up my next question. So if they're going to ask someone else, if they re no, I'll ask you, then I'll go around. If they reinvest it back into the club, who would you like to see them buy this summer? Look, for me, really, invest it in the body of the club. The team's always going to change. Mm. Make an investment that's going to last a decade. You know, players come and go. They can get an injury. You know, you could buy a $90 million player, ACL, it's gone. Mm. Invest it in the heart of the club where it needs to go. That's, okay. that's where I want to go. All right, what about you? Which, a player. A player. If we can get one player this summer, who, who would you like to see us bring in? Okay, so basically all the transfer rumours are saying Thomas Lamar. I'd love to see Thomas Lamar. I think yeah. he's fantastic in the midfield. I think it'd be fantastic it, um, with Ozil, Lacazette there now. Alexis, if he's still there on the wing, would be fantastic. And um, even Riyad Mahrez as a backup, you know, there's so much quality. But even Riyad Mahrez himself, he was the player of the year two seasons ago, would be fantastic. I think that's a great way to start. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, look, uh, as Emilio said, that um, Thomas Lamar, he's the person that we would need on the wing, um, moving Ox into the middle, and from there play Lamar, and on the side, have Alexis on the left and play Lacazette uh, through. That's what I'd do, because that's the kind of um, innovation that we need on the wings. And Ox, he's, even though he's got his pace, you've seen him in the last couple of seasons playing through the middle. He has that force, he has that drive, and he tracks back. That's what we need for our team defensively and in attack. Okay, what about it? Now, I, you know, I was having a chat with you the other night. Guna in Australia via South London, right? North London originally. North London originally via South London, North you London. Followed via, I followed you. You are my brother. <laughs> I'm your brother, right? What do you reckon? What do we need? Well, I, so, we need I, I want to I see Arsenal mount a title challenge this season. For me, mate, we need two players. And I think it's me and you. We should, we should be the uh, the new centre back pairing. We would just stand back to back, say get round that, and bring your sandwiches. We may murder sucker even quicker than he is at the moment. <laughs> hey, we will make anybody look quick. No worries there. But no, if we get Lamar, I think we're on the right track. Yep. And for you, I mean, they were saying to me that um, I'm, I'm, I, I apologise, right? Australian royalty. But apparently, Australian royalty used to be on the TV down here. And you're coming to support the Arsenal tonight? Yeah, I'm, I'm an Arsenal supporter. I'm a retired sports journalist, but yeah, Arsenal supporter for a long time now. And uh, it's just so great to, to get to see them here Why? in Sydney. Why Arsenal? Um, Arsene Wenger. I started because I, I was originally a rugby league reporter. Rugby mm. league's the big sport in Sydney. And I was just so impressed by the way Wenger was handling the media. Mm. And I started, this is way, you know, back early 2000s. And I started 
watching Arsenal and, and thought, OK, actually, the way this team plays, I love football. I'd, I'd sort of grown up with a very negative attitude to football, that it, that it was a, a dull and unadventurous game. But then I started watching Arsenal, particularly through those invincible uh, years. It was just... It was just exciting to watch, and 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 really, I never never recovered my love for rugby league. <laughs> I, I I sort of migrated to to being, even though in the media I was mainly seen as a rugby league person. My heart is Arsenal these would days. You, would you have believed, right, that after all this time, he'd still be in charge? Most managers they don't last, especially nowadays. I think they said their average time for a manager lasts in his life just over a year in the Premier League. He's been there now over 20 years. I mean. Are you surprised at that? I'm not. Uh, I guess in on some levels I'm surprised, but I honestly think sometimes people don't realise what a gem, what a jewel they've got in this man. Understands at so many levels how the the game works, how the club works. You you can wish for change, but sometimes change isn't quite what you expect. I mean, you look at us. I look at Man U after Sir Alex left they still haven't really recovered to where they were so i understand when people want change but until you actually know you've got something better than what you already have uh, i think the continuity has been fabulous for arsenal and uh for me i know I, I know thousands disagree with me but for me arsene knows and i'm back him as long as he wants to stay at the club okay brilliant well listen let's hope, yeah <laughs> Let, let's hope let's hope that you can get it right this season um we're here with the guys from Arsenal Sydney. It's been brilliant here today. What was it? We've got a little, we've got a little gift for you. Right. Uh, you've been great fun. I know you've been robbed and mugged in the streets by all the Arsenal <laughs> Sydney fans. But, you know, it's been a pleasure having you down. So no, we thank want you to very thank much. you. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. It's really important. Like, a big shout out, not only to AFTV, but to Ask Blog, to Le Grove. Everyone's got different opinions. Uh, it's really important being so far away, 10,000 mm. miles away. It's important that we have direct channels from the fans speaking to us because the club's always going to put out one message. So the, the work you do, the work that the guy behind the camera tower does, that's fantastic. You know, keep doing it. And uh, we hope to see you again. And thank a little scarf much. as well that's, for you. That's for you. Oh, thank that's you very much. Arsenal Sydney.